Our first guest tonight is a very talented comedian, actor, and writer. You know from his work on Saturday Night Live, Tough Crowd, and Trainwreck. His new show, Small Talk, is playing at the Lucille Lortel Theater here in New York. Please welcome back to the show our friend, Colin Quinn, everybody. Hey, hey, I don't want to start off with complaints, but, uh, you know. <laughs> That'd be a nice cup of Seth Meyers. You want a this cup? This is really cheese ball. Oh, I'm sorry. We, you had a nice cup backstage. Why'd now you come out weird. here? Why'd you want water right away? Because I like to lubricate my uh, throat. You know, yeah. I'm a, you know, it's a professional thing. <laughs> the theater. You're a theater guy? I'm a theater guy, guy. <laughs> yeah. Now, your show is about small talk. Yes. What is some, was that small talk we just had there? What is some good small no, talk? No, that was complaint. Complaint is out here to small talk. <laughs> okay. You don't come in hot like that. Okay. It's got to be more positive. So what's some good opening positive small talk? Like, um, well, you know, the best, one, one of the best ones, of course, today, the weather, the rain, rain is like the, you know, all-star small talk stuff. Because <laughs> it's always shocking, even though after all these years on the planet, every time it rains, everybody's like, do you believe this? <laughs> What's going on? And then I could say, you look good. And, you know, even if you think I'm being fake, but you do look good, obviously you're working out. And then, you know, you go, you're doing good. You're looking good. Good for you. <laughs> and then you just kind of put it on that person. And, you know, depends on how you want to... You try to read, like, I try to read if you want to complain. You know, if I'm like, I mean, Jesus, God, what's going on around? You know, or if you want to be reassured, like, it'll work itself out. <laughs> and, this is know, all very... You're a natural. Go. You're a natural. This. Yes, I Now, I, I should say... Um, uh, small talk, very different from talk show talk. Talk yes. show talk, I mean, is a very unique skill. Talk show talk, you have to, like, come out with the story. Yeah. And so you can't small talk. If you're in, if you're in the elevator, even if it's a big star, and they, they can't just talk to strangers and go, oh, my God, what do you hear with David O. Russell on the set? This is actually very fun. <laughs> By the way, like... that's my most modern reference, David O. Russell. David O. Russell. Sorry, folks. Very modern. Little behind the times. Um... But um, this is very... I was surprised to hear that you like small talk. I would have guessed if you'd have asked that you were not a fan of it. I know that's how people think, but what bothers me is people have moved to New York and they go, oh, I moved here so I don't have to be friendly. It's like, um... I think you meant to move to the woods because <laughs> this is a big city with millions of people. You have to be, you're going to have interactions with people. And you get excited about it. Now, how short can small talk be before it's, uh, I mean, I guess how long is it when it's no longer small well, talk? Well, yeah, that's the thing is leaving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Leaving the small talk conversation. Some people go too long. You know, I'm talking about the weather, somebody in the elevator, and I'm like, boy, weather's crazy. Like, yeah. Yeah, yesterday was, uh, next week's supposed to be even crazy. Like, yeah. Last week, Tuesday was, and then <laughs> suddenly you're, you're pressing all the buttons. You can't, you can't escape. It's like social media. Here. Yeah, but technology has actually kind of helped create an escape route for it. Yeah, the uncomfortable. Yeah. When you're done, you have a, like online at Starbucks, and you talk, and then you're like, oh God, there's nothing left to say to this person, and you sort of half know them, and you're just both staring, and you just feel terrible. You bust out the phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the old days, you didn't have the phone. You'd have yeah. to whistle, I guess. I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> That's going to be talk shows. Oh, you should be, be doing a talk... Five years from now, this will be every talk show. What's up, Seth? How you doing? Not much. How are you? Good, good. Show's you... doing good. Show's yeah, show's good. Are... And you've got a new show, uh, yeah. Lucy Lortel. That's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh... Now, you think uh, that we are making a mistake as a society because we're not teaching small talk to our children. Yes. I feel like we're the personality country. That was our whole thing. Talk, free speech, and yet kids get shoved into school like study hard and it'll be a success. Is that really has been said? In this country, either you can count really high or you better have a great personality. <laughs> and yeah, so kids should be walking in, you teach them like this is the big leagues. You're going into society, the rest of your life's gonna be here, not with your family. So you better get it going. You know? <laughs> Walk in and just, you know, just memorize re a couple of phrases, sh not surefire, but close. You know, like, Teach a kid first day of preschool walk in. Is it me or is this bus driver a little off? <laughs> you know, the kids would be like, I like that kid. You know, just have a little story. Right. So right away, like, the other kids are like, my mommy, they got shut the doors in my face. You, you don't do that. And then work the crowd. You get it. This kid gets it. <laughs> so you think I should teach my kids to say, you get it. This kid gets it. I think that's. You teach them that, and you teach them this. If you want them to be successful, this. When somebody's talking to you, this works. 
Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely tremendous. Yes. <laughs> no matter what they say, just say, yeah, good point. And this, people that go like this make 40,000 a year more than people like this. <laughs> just to not Nobody along while this. people are talking. Nobody likes it. What if it. right now you were talking to me and I was going like this? <laughs> I don't want him back on the show. You go, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like this. I like what yes, you're doing. Yes. But now you feel like this is tricky because you think we should teach animals small talk, but obviously. That, that, no, that's a misconception. I'm just saying animals, <laughs> animals, because they can't small talk, that's why they never evolve past that level. They, you know, because it's always a staring contest. Even, do <laughs> even dogs, who you think would know better by this point, hang out <laughs> thousands of years, they've still got that primal thing. Because they can't break. It's like guys at a nightclub, like young guys, when the music's loud, they're just staring at each other. It always <laughs> turns into a fight. That's why dogs are, even when your dogs are like pleasant, there's always that moment you're like, oh, this is gonna go off, you know? <laughs> if dogs could small talk, what sort of things do you think? What, like, what would you want a dog to be able to say to you? Just, I don't know, I like your coat, the other dog, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, did you see that rat? Are you a terrier breed? You know, well, believe me, in my breed, rats, we go after them. Like, notice that. Uh, just breed details. You'd want to hear that explain Yeah, everything. I feel like they would be able to be like, they think I'm this mixed breed, but I'm actually from this. <laughs> I keep, we keep it down in our family, but we're, you know. uh, I have a lot more to ask you. We'll be right back with more from Colin Quinn, everybody. Yeah.